Captain on the bridge. Alright Captains, we are back on the bridge and today yes, is the drop of both worlds. So, we got some things to go over from the Star Trek Online X feed, so on screen. Yes, Captains, before we get into this video, do us a huge favor and hit that like button. But also, if you're new here, welcome. Consider subscribing here to our YouTube bridge. Where we're always on the lookout for like mining Captains where we can share our love. Our passion for Star Trek Online, but also things Star Trek. Now that said, here we go. Captains, finally, it is the release of 14th anniversary for Star Trek Online. And it's both worlds, and you know how excited we've been. So, we have some blogs to go over here on the X feed. Of course, all of the news here that we've gotten so far. So what we're going to do is go over them, drop the ECs, and then at the end give our conclusion. So... In our videos yesterday, we didn't get to this, so we'll just do it now, cover it now. So Star Trek Online will have maintenance on all platforms from 6 to 8.30 Pacific Time on PC, both worlds update, of course, and from 7 to 9 Pacific Time on console. It's just got to restart here, but there's also patch notes, so we'll go over that quickly here. So again, patch notes for January 23. Again, for PC first, so the event, of course, the 14th anniversary celebration. We know that this has been coming, and here we go. So, activities within the anniversary event will contribute towards your daily progress in the event, eventually earning your way toward the grand prize, the T6 Alliance Rex Pilot Escort. Very excited for that ship. Part of the anniversary update will be several brand new activities that will be a part of this event. So the new episode is going to be Scorpion Abyss. And of course, the episode previous taken by surprise. And the new TFO, of course, Battle of Wolf 359. I have not yet tried this TFO and we probably won't be doing it until tomorrow, Wednesday, just because we want to just do the new episode first for the progression. And then we'll do the playthrough of Battle of Wolf 359 the day after. But you can also do TFO Guillotine, which we've been kind of doing it nightly in our nightly pews there. So it's, it's been a great, fun TFO. And of course, you do have the Omega Particle Stabilization. This event will last for 30 days. Captains that earn 40 or more daily progress may then claim the event cries, of course, the Alliance Rex Pilot Escort. For more information, Please visit the 14th anniversary event blog, which we've already gone through. But of course, anything that we've gone over or will go over in this video will be in the description below. So this link will be in the description of my caps. So rewards for the 14th anniversary party pooper. It wouldn't be an anniversary without a brand new party pooper to earn. I always say pooper. Popper. Triz. Popper. Why do I say pooper? Popper. Popper. Additional rewards after claiming the grand prize, you will unlock the option of earning additional delictium ore each day, beginning 8,000 delictium ore at the first day's completion. So again, Captains, we always recommend to get more in-game resources to definitely keep doing the event even after it's done, because we will always do it. You're more than welcome to join us if we're on live, just so that we can gain in more, like in-game more resources, so we can buy more pretty, pretty ships. So there is the then a buyout option. So Within the new event UI, an option will be presented that allows you to purchase the remaining progress that you need for a scaling amount. We'll show this off later, but it is about 6K Zen, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll check again when we go to the Stow Bridge. And for more information, the link will be there. Of course, the event grand prize, the Alliance Rex Pilot Escort, the Kinema Alliance has produced fruitful collaborations between the engineers of some of the most powerful forces in all four quadrants. And while the Federation, Klingon Empire, and Romulan Republic have all contributed to this cause. The contributions of the Dominion have been less obvious until now. The Rex often commands entire squadron of escorts in battle, coordinating them and forming the tip of the spear with the superior maneuverability and ability to strip enemy defenses before devastating strafe and run. Of course, this will be our prize there. So, General, added elite difficulty to the random task force operation drop down selection added elite difficulty to the following task force operations. Captains, let's go! So we have Upiter Eratus. Actually, Upiter Eratus is one of my favorite TFOs just because it's Terran, so we're gonna have to try that out. Leviathan, another great TFO, great map. It's a very simple map, but it's just done beautifully in my 
mean, and Storm Chasers. Man, it's been a while since we've done that. Well, we're going to have to try this out. We're going to have to try this out. Added additional rewards to captains who play the random elite TFO Q. So 100 to 500 marks choice, 1,000 to 5,000 to team or an advanced console component choice pack. Now, I'm going to go back to this quickly. There's still a bunch of TFOs that need elite Qs. Crystalline Entity. And just to name another one, Operation Wolf. We, we need those. We need those just to test out our gear, our, our abilities here in Star Trek Online. So hopefully this will be a trend moving forward that they'll just keep adding them now from now on. So known issues in some rare cases, not every assimilation probe killed in, is counted for bonus rewards at the end of Wolf 359 Task Force Operation. Currently, the Vox Command Kit module does not confuse the target as intended. So they'll be working on this. Hopefully on the next patch, they'll be fixed. So there is that. Next up, the 14th anniversary of Star Trek Online arrives with bonus XP and great deals. So let's go over here, the anniversary sales and bonus XP. So the 14th anniversary of Star Trek Online is upon us. And not only are we celebrating the launch of both worlds expansion on PC, but we're also offering captains several deals and an event that will kickstart their efforts against the mirror board. So without further ado, -do, we're doubling our efforts to give captains the necessary experience to deal with threats to the galaxy from January 23rd, of course, that's today at the drop of this video, to the 29th. Players will be able to enjoy twice the experience. During the event, content that provides skill points and expertise will reward a 100% two times a bonus above normal amounts this bonus will be available for all content that rewards skill points and expertise. The rule of acquisition 74, knowledge equals profit. Any wise captain knows that when the sale this good comes your way, it's best to take advantage of it. We're pleased to announce that the Ferengi merchants are putting a 15% sale on keys from January 23rd to January 29th at 12 p.m. PC. That was the best time for captains to load up on your keys and grab those ships you've been eyeing. Again, captains, if you don't know yet, Buying these keys and opening boxes is a gamble. You are not guaranteed the ship. And of course, we know the new ship is a Duda set, which we'll go over in the next vlog. But our 15% sale is not that big, but it is, it, it is a sale if you want to take advantage of it because you have the resources, go on and then do so. But our recommendation, Captains, is to buy the keys when they're on sale. Wait until the sale is over, post them on the exchange, Sell them for max EC as much as possible for the max return and then rinse and repeat until you have enough to get whatever ship. It doesn't have to be the Duder set, whatever ship you want on the exchange. That is guaranteed. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I've seen captains open 250 boxes, maybe even 500 and not win a single thing. So just saying you want a guaranteed way to get the ship that you want. That is our recommendation. For a limited time only, starting today, players will be able to purchase the Key Ring Bundle. This special pack includes 20 Master Keys used upon any lockbox with a price of 2,250 Zen. As an additional special promotional offer when purchasing this bundle, every pack also includes a single Ultimate Tech upgrade. Applying this item to any upgradable piece of equipment will instantly set both its mark and quality to maximum, which is of course Mark 15 Epic Gold Quality with zero cost. The promotional bundle will be available for available in the Zen store from the 23rd to the 29th on PC. Well, there. So further, the Low Buy Consortium is pleased to announce their latest featured sale from January 23rd to the 29th. Shoot captains will be able to choose from their wide selection of wares just by visiting the in-game Low Buy store. All items in the Low Buy store will be 20% off. And I know we just all recently got some Low Buy by opening those promotional packs those duty officer packs. So there you go. We have 60 low buy and I'm pretty sure you can get good, good ground weapons. And again, we've made that recommendation and just off the top of our head, the Shax cannon or the portable phaser cannon. Now it's the best time to take command of the Kelvin Intel Dreadnought Cruiser. Get your hand on the Boolean heavy assault cannon or fly the stars in the Vodwar Asika heavy battle cruiser. Enjoy captains. Finally, captains, it's a great time to start a new career in the final frontier. That's because the start of your adventure sale is now live from the 23rd, also going to the 29th on PC. You can get a brand new character of your 32nd level 65, knit it out the way you like by saving 25% off 
everything listed below in the Zen store. So services, uniforms, personnel, and starter packs. Don't wait, it's a perfect time to get everything you need. So there you go. Next up, here we go. You could win the Judas that Miracle Worker ship from the last generation lockbox. Check out how she performs here. Now we've gone over the stats already because of what they actually showed us on stream 10 for a couple weeks ago, but here is the official and that's looking like a very nice, nice shot of her. So the Deuterstat at your command. The Deuterstat has been especially built both to study and to accommodate the various energy based life forms that Starfleet has made peaceful contact with. This version of the ship houses a Palamarian. And while each Deuterstat is subtly different depending on the specifics of the energy being habitat, they all have massively robust power transfer capacities, both to handle the incredible amounts of energy involved and to protect that energy from interference as they are invariably much more sensitive than a typical power flow. The experience has brought about numerous advances in power transfer technology. Study becomes much easier when the scientists can simply ask the energy about this objective while you're involved in the experience. When pressed into combat, the Deuterstat can reveal the enemy's captain's miscalculation in dramatic fashion, deploying the Calamarium and rerouting reserves to weapons in a concerted display of raw energy. So there is the shot of her. There you get an idea of her profile. Again, kind of a really basic looking design, but it's just done better in my opinion, or, or taken to that next level. And you got that new style deflector going there. I like it. I really do like it. And of course, captains, in case you don't know, we had interviewed the creator of the ship, Bill Krause, here on the YouTube channel. Check that out in the live tabs there, as you can see. And we will talk about the ship. And we did talk about the ship. And we're eventually going to get this. And of course, share that here on the YouTube channel. So the Deuterstat Miracle Worker Science Spearhead. The ship contains a Commander Science Miracle Worker Station and the Lieutenant Engineering Pilot Station. Not the best. There are better platforms up there, but we are getting this ship purely just for the sake of our connection and us knowing Bill Krause. There is Tier 6, Federation Fedeline, of course, must complete tutorial, hull mod 1.35, shield mod 1.15. The weapons are 4-3, 4-4, and 3 in the app weapon slot. Device slots 3. Bridge officer stations, you got your commander science miracle worker, the lieutenant commander engineering pilot, lieutenant commander tactical, ensign universal, and lieutenant universal. Consoles 2 TAC, 4 eng, 5 psi, 1 universal, scales with your level, of course. Base turn rate 13, impulse mod is 0.19, inertia 55, plus 15 weapon power, plus 15 engine power. Console universal is the energy being habitat, and equip dual cannons. As a sec depth slot, sensor analysis, subsystem targeting, innovation ship mechanic, the quantum slipstream drive, of course. And it has the Starship Mastery Package of a Psy Vessel, which gives plus exotic damage, plus shield HP, plus healing, plus shield regen, flash hardness, and the Starship trait, active EPS management. There are the Admiralty stats, Eng 40, Psy 50, TAC 36, special plus 8 Eng and TAC per ship. There is the visual for the console universal energy being habitat, energy being habitat. I got someone tell me if I missed this, but I don't remember the whole Calamarian thing, but let me know in the comments below, Caps. Opening the energy being habitat allows the allied Calamarian to enter combat. As it does, it copies your power levels, tech deals greater damage based on your total power levels, most strongly influenced by weapon power. Reactivating the power recalls the Calamarian early. So whenever the Calamarian returns, it restores your power levels, adding 30 plus any extra store to each power level over a period of time. For example, if it's stored 100 engine power and returns after reroute reserves to weapons has drained the ship's engine power to 20, it, will, it would add a total of 80 plus 30 for 110 additional engine power for a period of time. This console additionally provides bonuses to critical chance and weapon power. And of course, the Starship trait, active EPS management. While this trait is slotted, whenever your power levels are on average below their current settings, you gain a large boost to electroplasma system flow. Whenever your power levels are on average above their current setting, you gain a large penalty to EPS flow. Because yes, why would we want that? 
Anyways, activating beams, overload, or beams fire at will, cannon rapid fire, or cannon scatter volley, or reroute reserves to weapons, triple the effects and adds additional bonus damage. Electroplasma system flow increases the speed at which power changes to match current subsystem settings. If power is low, at high, EPS flow will refill more quickly. If power is above normal, a high EPS flow will empty it more quickly, but a low EPS flow will allow it to linger longer. So, doesn't sound game breaking to me, but again, what do I know about numbers? I just press the space bar and mash it to go pew, pew, pew. So, there again is the Deuter stat, live of course on the PC bridge, and of course will follow up on the console bridge. So there is that. Next up, here you go, it's time, starring Nikki DeRere and Garrett Wang, and Kipley Brown, Stow Both Worlds, is live. Here we go, finally, Gavin, yeah, let's go. Check this out here. So welcome to Both Worlds. Our four 14th anniversary event, Both Worlds, is live now on PC. Welcome to Star Trek Online Both Worlds. We're so excited to welcome Nicole DeBoer to Star Trek Online, reprising her role of Ezri Dax. Join Ezri alongside returning Garrett Wang as Harry, Henry Kim and Kipley Brown as Admiral Kamarke to face the looming threat of the Mirror Borg, the Borg in the Prime Universe verse, verse, a terrifying threat but these new Borg are stronger and tougher. Lead by the mysterious Borg King, they are encroaching into our universe and only you can stop them, Captains. To prepare to face this threat, you'll return to the Battle of Wolf 359 in our newest task force operation. Face off in a team against a single Borg cube in a herring contest that will test your mettle and hopefully give you the new insight of battling the mirror Borg. And speaking of battling Borg, you may not want to get your hands on the technology used by the crew of the Enterprise-D in their own battles with the Borg in 2401. You can grab these items and abilities, not to mention the new Duraset class starship in the last generation lockbox. And of course, we're celebrating the, our 14th anniversary as a game. It's an incredible unheard of length of time for an online game like so. And we're so happy to have you all here to celebrate participating in the King and Collective event and progress toward the brand new Alliance Rex Escort. A combination of Dominion and Federation technology will catapult you to the front lines with unprecedented speed and style. Finally, get into the toughest queues faster with the advent of Elite Random Task Force Operations. Queue up for your favorite Elite queue or go random for more rewards and you'll see those queues pop faster. We're excited to see to spend our 14th year with you. Captains, thank you for everything. It means the world to the team at Star Trek Online. Yes, yes, let's go. So there we go, Captains, that is indeed it. So the next up here, which is somewhat a surprise, but we did kind of see this already. So here it is. Pause that because that's an old clip here though. We've got another surprise for you this morning. Captain, the bridges are unlocked. This got unlocked on console a couple weeks ago, but now it is on PC. You are now able to use the bridge of any Starship you own on any other Starship you own. The only limitation is that small craft bridges can't be on full-size ships and vice versa. Enjoy. So I have heard of this. This is gonna be fun, but I have no problem just using the new Miranda or Odyssey Bridge, because those bridges are really, really good looking. And just Nick did such a great job on them. I don't mind having them on all of my Federation ships. But again, the options are there now for us. Now, that is all we have here. But we're going to go quickly to this next announcement. And before I do so, huge, huge shout out to Alternative for sending us this blog here from the other Star Trek Online X feed because there's two of them. Because as you can see, Captains, it's not here. Also to id Gaming Federation and FC for sending also the messages of what the free giveaway is for today, which is the final day of the giveaway. Now, Captains, I did not expect this. I said I wanted it, but here we got it. So again, huge shout out to you, my Caps. The giveaway for today is Tier 6X, sorry, Tier 6 Ship Coupons. Last two years, we've gotten the tier five, 
This year, they've upped it and given us the tier six ship coupon. So that is absolutely awesome. Again, why is it not on the actual X speed for the American side? I don't know, but this is in, I believe the German side. But again, thank you to you captains. Now we're gonna quickly go to the Stowbridge bridge here. And oh, look at, look, look at her, look at her. The beautiful, beautiful Odyssey. And I think we're gonna make this the actual thumbnail, of course, when it comes to this video. It looks absolutely amazing. And again, I, I think we all know what we're going to recommend as well when it comes to that. Now, as we go to the store bridge here, Again, to get your free tier six ship coupon, all you gotta do is go to the promotions tab and it will be right there. Now, as of this video, you have five days, 19 hours, probably about 18, 17 hours by the time we actually upload this to YouTube, but you cannot purchase T6 coupon because your inventory is full. So all I gotta do is clear my inventory, but I will get it, definitely get it, but you got five days to do so. Claiming this will grant a pack that has a 100% off coupon inside for it, for any individual tier six ship found in the tier six tab in the Zen store. The pack cannot be sold on exchange or traded to other players. So this should be account bound, but we're, we'll claim this later on our on our main. But again, yeah, five days to do so. Now, again, we chose the ship for a reason. Star Trek, Picard, season three, the Odyssey class got canonized. And yes, she is now canon and you can get this ship in Star Trek Online in the Zen store. So if you just go to Federation, you go to, let's say Lexan. There you go, the Smexy Lexi. I do recommend this because not only do you get the Odyssey skin, but you get the Lexington that has the torpedo launcher and the phaser freaking Lance. Let's go. And don't worry, Captains, you also, like I said, will be able to get this skin here, which is the cannon skin, but you can't beat the Smexy Lexi here. Now, again, there's other options here in the tier six ship tab here. You can get any of the ships here that are individually sold or free, essentially. And that you just gotta pick the one that suits you and there's a lot of recommendations. We're gonna have a video actually come out here in the next couple days here, going over some of our recent tier six ship options, but cause you don't have to spend it right away. So I know a lot of captains ha will be holding on to them, waiting possibly. Now this won't apply to newer ships, but again, if you're patient, if a sea store ship is released, this actually will be available to you in due time. But again, as you can see here, there's some great ships. There's a Titan there, of course. A lot of ships, the Adamant, you got the Yamato here. It's so many, so many great ships here. The only ones, of course, it won't be available to you is the legendary ships. But other than that, you have all of these options for you. So now we're gonna leave it on this. Captains, we're gonna go back off of the throw bridge back here to the X feed. And we're gonna watch actually this trailer here for both worlds because it is a pretty good one so here we go captain smog the borg kingdom have attacked from a reality vortex but with some help we held them off fighting borg is my specialty but these borg are something else entirely our new friends, the Aetherians, say the Borg are now invading fluidic space. We need to enter hostile territory, make uneasy alliances, and stop their invasion before it begins. The safety of the multiverse depends on it. That was so good. And I'm, we're just gonna go over this quickly here. It's just too good not to just put the volume down here. But I love how 
they have Ezri voicing this over. She she sounds good. She really does. And her character model sounds better. And look at this shot. Here you have the Duder set and her ship. You have the Vesta in her. That's awesome. That is so good. That nod there that they're giving. But look how good her character model looks. She looks good, Gavs. She looks really good. And the trailer was done really well, in my opinion. Some pretty cool shots in here. Now the Ethereum, man, I don't, for some reason, I have an uneasy feeling about this species, but we're gonna have to wait and see where that leads. But another fluidic space Borgish type clash happening here. So that we have had that already in Star Trek Online, but we'll have to wait to see how that goes. You can see again, this, there's the legendary Vesta actually. And again, the Deuter's that class there. Definitely when we do this episode though, Captains, we're gonna be doing it in our Galaxy Class Starship because why? Because it's my baby. It's my first love. Kind of a cool showing their cutscenes there from the episode, so we'll probably see this already. There's the new Borg. We get to fight them again. Now the ground Borg, the new ones from the Mirror Universe, we haven't been able to fight up until this point, only in the previous episode, so we get to fight them again. That looks really good. We might have to just go back in our our Odyssey uniform just because everyone else is in theirs. But there it is, Captains. Star Trek Online, both worlds, the 14th anniversary is here. We're, we have been looking forward to this. I know a bunch of you as well has been looking forward to this. And I thought it'd be great to just kind of land off of that or finish the video off on that trailer because it wasn't on the X feed. So again, just a quick re recap, Captains. Make sure you get your free tier six ship coupon again you have five days to claim it but don't wait get it on so that you can pick whatever ship and of course look out for a video of our recommendations of some breakout ships from the last year captains do us a huge favor to help the channel out hit that like button comment below let us know your thoughts so far on both worlds on the new episode and the new tfo wolf 359 what do you think of it we won't be able to play it until tomorrow. We're gonna to make that choice to just wait for it because we wanna kinda of lengthen the experience, which is only two days, but it is what it is. And of course, subscribe here to our YouTube bridge. And if you wanna support anything we do here, consider joining as a member here on the YouTube bridge. And on that note, we will leave it here. Live long and prosper.